Some people say that even the flapping of the wings of a butterfly could lead to a tornado in Asia. That's known as the butterfly effect and uh, the reason for this is that many cases the weather behaves chaotically, which means that the small perturbances to its initial conditions could, can lead to tremendous differences in the outcomes. Um, to study one of such systems, a chaotic system, we can use the Lorentz system, which was def designed in the 60s by Edward Lorentz. He came out with this system of three differential ordinary, ordinary differential equations that shows chaotic behavior in, under certain conditions of the parameters. And uh, that is completely deterministic. That shows that it's possible to have completely deterministic systems that are at the same time chaotic. So the the system is very easy to understand. It's just these three differential equations. So I want to use JavaScript to understand uh, to study it and see how it looks. So let's check it out. We can start by defining the of an integration function, um, which We'll take the current uh, coordinates of the system and see where the system will evolve. So the equations are something like sigma times y dash uh, minus x. Uh, and let's have an integration at step dt. Uh, we, can, we have the y equation, differential equation, which is x times rho minus z minus y times dt and then z plus equal x times y um, minus beta times z times dt and then we can return x, y and z so this um, function will allow us to integrate the trajectory of the Lorentz system given a set of con initial conditions. So um, if we read here, it tells us what the good values for, for these parameters are in this case. We're going to use these values here. So we can say const um, dt, let's pick something small. For example, 0 0.01. Um, we can do const sigma equals 10, const rho equals 28, const beta equals 8 over 3. So let's see how this works. We can use JavaScript to run this. Const um, console.log integrate um, 1 x1 y1 c1 let's see so we save we, we open it and now uh, if we inspect here we should be able to see let's make it smaller uh, there's an object and there is a little movement so this seems to be working now um, but one by one is kind of annoying so we can also define a function we're going to call this function extend path something like function extend path and it takes a path and a number of steps and returns the path actually it doesn't really, really matter if it returns the path what we're going to do is um, just integrate this function a number of times and then append each one of the results to that uh, path. So that will be something like this for each and an arrow function. So the last point is just the path, path.length minus one because the new point is just the, integrate, the integration of the last point. And then path.push p. Uh, in this way we can do something like this. We, ha we can say something um, like path equals 
this x1 y1 c1 and then um, extend path path I don't know let's do this a hundred times and then we can print what the resulting path is we run it and now yeah we have it here uh, we have 101 points and it seems that it's working let's see the results here yeah they they, are, they haven't exploded so which means that the points are not too bad or we haven't run long enough um, but having here having them here in the console is not that helpful it would be nicer to see them so in order to do that we just use a canvas um, we just do uh, can bus id equal canvas with I don't know let's say a thousand height a thousand and let's close the canvas perfect and now we can try to draw it so in order to draw it first thing we do is define the context Get context to the to to draw exactly what we want we're going to have an issue because we don't know what ranges the numbers are so we're going to need to do some scaling to be able to put those points in a plot that usually is done by scaling up and down those those numbers uh, we can write a function that does that scale points and let's define some size so the first thing to do is scaling is to find the ranges um, we can do that by doing not um, points dot map then we define a narrow function x y c equals to x so let's see if this works I'm gonna try to get here the minimum on x for the points um, does not have size yet it's per 100 but doesn't really matter um, let's see here there's an error on line 31 const okay I'm missing one parent okay this seem to have worked let's see if the maximum works const uh, maximum in x max we can do something like mx mx the minimum is smaller than the maximum which makes sense uh, seems that it's working now that we have it in x we can do it uh, in y and in c and then here y and in c and then we can use those constants to scale a function so we let's put it like this um, let's define for example um, function that takes a value a minimum value and a maximum value and returns the size times the value minus the value minus the minimum value divided by the maximum value minus the minimum value this will return every single point every single uh, series of points to they will fit them between 0 and 1 and since we're multiplying here by size it will fit them between 0 and size um, let's see if that worked um, this run we can uh, Oh, right here. We just return. Oh, we have to map this, so it will be something like points. Dot map. It takes each one of the points. 
and it returns x equals size and x and x maximum and x y is equal to s and y and y maximum and y and c is equal to size in z and z and maximum and z return x y z and we are done I believe so this should return a scaled path between 0 and 100 um, which seems to have worked it's nice let's make it between 0 and I don't know 600 now that we have a nice range of points um, for the values we can try to draw the path so let's do the draw function function draw let's pass a path and it's quite simple we just begin path here and then we say stroke and in the middle we say path dot for each takes one path and um, applies ctx.line to and then here the point will be x, y, and c and we can say for example this then we do draw path let's see oh it did something Great. Let's try to integrate for longer. Um, it's weird. It's not doing much. Let's do longer. Oh yes, it's definitely doing something there. I found out. Here, the issue is we have to const scaled equals this and then we can draw the scaled path oh yeah there we have it this is the x y uh, projection of the Lorentz system let's see if we can this is kind of annoying because we cannot really see see it well in 3d it's a 3d system so let's try to fix that we could do something like this uh, function step we call the step and then here set timeout uh, step let's call it, I don't know, 60 times per second and then we scale the path by a hundred and then while path dot length bigger than I don't know a thousand we say path dot shift let's see how that works oh, yep it's working nice we just need to clear the path uh, context dot clear Correct. Zero zero canvas dot width canvas dot height. That's it. There you go. Nice. Um, seems to be working well. Let's make it a little bit slower and let's keep it a, a little long, longer tail. There you go. Nice. Um, you can see the one end is filling and the other one is advancing uh, let's make it even longer this is pretty nice now you can see the evolution of the system going uh, from one basin to the next uh, this is called a Lorentz attractor and it kind of looks like a butterfly which is kind of nice let's it's, it still makes it hard to understand because you're only looking at the projection so Let's do this. 
let's apply a map. So we can do something like this. Um, const map is equal to a function that takes the 3D point and um, returns, I don't know, for example, a tuple x and z and here map map something broke oh yep because here you will be receiving a point and point zero point one good there you go now we're seeing a projection in in the XC we can also do uh, YC um, nice but what will be best is for us to do something like this um, for example um, let's center it if we're scaling it to 600 we can subtract 300 and then apply a rotation which is just simple math uh, because q minus this times math of sine q and then Q plus equal, I don't know, something like this, const Q, uh, bar Q equals zero. Let's see how that looks. Oh, yes, except we have to move everything about, we can do it here, plus 300. There you go. Now it's much better, you can see the 3D system and it's a beautiful system to watch, it's kind of mesmerizing. That's it, um, I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you.